All right, so last time we, we removed some unused code, so that can help us go faster in the, in the next things that we need to do. And now we can start tackling this part, so extracting the this service infos from the view controller. And for context, why, why did we want to do that? Yeah, so in the big scheme of things, we want to add support to different cities. And uh, right now, the network call for the API is done in the view controller. And uh, the API URL for that city is hard coded yeah. in that. So our idea was to extract that in a, into a service that then we can reuse for the different cities by passing or maybe a set of cities and then it combines. We need to figure that out. But one refactoring that we can do first is to extract that from the view controller. Yeah, so, so it's, we, we have the feature that we want to add new cities, but then at the same time, we're going to look through our old technical debt list and we see uh, the service one yeah and let's, let's... because one approach could be okay we are doing here the the call to get the workstations the view controller let's just do like one call for uh, each city you know for uh, yeah. city in cities we just do this over and over again and like that will perpetuate the technical debt that we had at the moment so our idea is more, since we are touching this part, let's try to make so, it yeah. work. The, the big thing you're trying is, as we go, always refactor a little better. Yeah, exactly. So, how can we do that in a safe way? We have in here our, this is all the network code, I, I think. So it has the call to the URL, then it handles the response, if it can parse in the JSON. The success, if it is a 200, it gets the JSON, and that's the way how it communicates back to the, to the view controller. Yeah. So, and in here we are calling the guide bike stations, and that's it, and the view did load. So one thing that we can start doing, what we want to do is to separate these two, these two components. But we want to test and see that is working as before. We don't want to want to create like create a unit test that confirms that we are still calling the get back stations. And so, so I guess this is difficult because. What get bike station does isn't just get the bike stations, but it also adds them to the map. And so yeah. how how do we write a test that covers it also being added to the map? Yeah, so so there is a two-way communication. So we can start testing the first part. That is it calls the get bike stations. So we can start to, to write a unit test that verifies that. Because yeah, view controller test and we can start with that with that unit test let me just copy this just to have a template so the view controller test and what we want to verify that it's still true is that um, it delegates the get back stations to the to that service that we still don't have and uh, delegate get bike stations to um, bike station service. So what we can try to do is we have the view controller. We can start with the assertion as well. So we want to that in that service that we still don't have to verify that the get bike stations was called. So just the, the get bike stations was called. Yes, because this is the part that we want to, to remove here, the dependency. And then we can also 
verify that when someone appends, because in here we are